Velvet Art coming to you from my studio and gallery here in Rockland, Maine. Uh, I wanted to make a video today to talk a little bit about studies. Um, typically when you see my work, um, whether it's here in the gallery, online, or uh, out at shows, what you're seeing are, are finished products. Um, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about the process behind arriving at those finished products. Um, so I hope that you'll enjoy this, this short video about my studies. So um, hopefully, if you are able to visit the gallery here in Rockland, um, you can come on up to the studio. And uh, one of the things that I would invite you to do is to take a look in this drawer, um, which is where I keep many of my studies. Um, studies in general contain a couple of different pieces of information. Um, these are a couple of studies that, uh, that I created for um, a recent piece that I worked on, the Trout of the South Platte. Um, and one of the pieces of information that you would find on this study is uh, information about morphology. So um, in particular, this is a greenback cutthroat trout, and so this contains information about the number of rays in each of the fins, the number of scales on the lateral line, um, information that I was able to observe and record in the field, um, and then I kept with me as, as reference to make sure that the final piece was accurate. Um, also on this piece, um, morphometrics, so that's uh, basically um, proportions um, of the particular, the, this individual, um, two different landmarks on the body. Um, typically uh, on studies I also have, um, I, I record some information about natural history, um, any sort of conservation issues involved with that species. Um, and then finally, um, color studies. Um, so uh, pieces like this, or it can even just be pieces like this. Um, where I'm working with the medium or media, trying to get the color just right um, so that it accurately represents uh, what I've observed. Usually, my studies begin in the field um, with observation, uh, note-taking, um, photographs when that's possible, um, but uh, typically I also bring a specimen back to the studio for further study and reference. Um, the specimen that I have right here is a menhaden, um, sometimes called a pogey or a bunker, um, sometimes called the most important fish in the sea. Um, and I am uh, using this specimen, even though it's frozen and the color is, is not uh, what a live fish would be, but um, to get the details, um, like the pattern of scales, things that would have been lost in a photograph, um, that becomes an essential reference for me. While many people are most familiar with my work uh, with fishes, um, those are, aren't the only natural history subjects um, that I work on. Um, I have here um, some sea grapes. Um, it's an important native plant uh, in Florida. And uh, these three nearly completed pieces actually began as me standing on the beach in, um, in Southwest Florida early, early in the morning, um, making notes, doing some color studies, um, as you can see, sometimes things get a little bit messy. Um, eventually, I collected um, a couple of specimens to bring back to the studio here in Maine, um, and then progressed to um, doing uh, color studies with the, the media I had available. Um, this piece is in watercolor. Um, and then from there, I moved on to creating uh, three pieces that represent sort of different life stages um, of this particular species. Um, in addition to botanicals, um, I also am fortunate to do some work with birds. Um, and uh, these are, um, this is one of the studies for um, a recent series of chickadees that I created. Um, I didn't have to travel all the way to Southwest Florida to do this um, because they're right here all winter long feeding at our bird feeder. Um, so I was able to, um, to make a lot of uh, notes. Uh, also a lot of research goes into these looking at the behavior, natural history, conservation issues. Um, and uh, wound up completing a series um, of chickadees um, that you can find on the website. So while most of the studies that I've shown you today, all of the studies, have been for completed or near completed pieces, um, I wanted to uh, show you also a, a project that I'm just beginning. Um, now this is, uh, I'm going to be um, creating a painting of the round scale spearfish, scientifically correct painting. Um, this is, uh, this is an example where I, I don't have an actual specimen here in the studio, um, but a lot of, a lot of the uh, process is exactly the same. Um, I always like to go back and find the first mention of whatever species 
um, I'm working with on, in the scientific literature. Um, in this case, I also have an updated um, paper about the uh, updated morphology um, of this piece. I have here um, a book full of photographs um, from a NOAA observer um, who closely studied the species and was one of the authors actually on this scientific paper. Um, I have some educational information from NOAA, um, educating fisher people about the, uh, the difference between the round scale spearfish and the white marlin, and I even have um, some actual scales um, to work with here, um, and I have a skin patch that's going to be coming. Um, so all of that information will go into the study, and all of that will inform the final piece, so stay tuned. So um, I wanted to uh, come down here into the gallery. Um, to show you um, a couple of uh, pieces of finished original work hanging here along with some of their studies. Um, I, uh, I love when, um, when people who uh, purchase a piece of artwork are as interested in the process as they are in the final product. Um, and I've been really fortunate and honored that some of my clients have chosen to purchase the study to go along with uh, either the original piece or a limited edition G. Clay. Um, previously, my, uh, my studies were available, limited number of studies were available here in the gallery um, and uh, sometimes at shows. Um, recently, I've added a section to um, my online store um, where you can look at and purchase um, studies there. Um, as I said, I, I like when, when the piece of art and the, the study stay together. And, um, and uh, if you are considering uh, purchasing two things, um, just know that I'm always open to sort of adjusting price, um, so please send me an email if you wanted to discuss that. Um, thank you so much for watching the video today about studies, I, I hope you learned a lot, and uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to send me an email. Um, I'm Karen from Karen Talbotter. <laughs>